Yo, he can't ask shit. You know, more know who, who hire you? Who, who actually appear you? Because it seems like you're you, you out to eh? get me. You just want to make me look bad, don't you? Me, me not try to make you look bad, brother. The man that done succeed from the one already from birth. Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Technicational. My name is Peyton Wilmot and today we'll be doing the full review of the Easy Viz C6W. Now that is this bad boy. Now you have seen my unboxing video and Joe, sir, well, I, sir, I, I sir, God? antics that I was actually keeping up with but seriously though. This is a home security camera that you can actually place in your house, bedroom, living room, your baby's room to actually monitor situations and circumstances that may happen and you probably want to actually interact with the person depending on what's the situation. So it's a bit more than a security camera. Yeah, so instead of talking about it, let's just do the full review of the EasyViz C6W and see if it's worth your time and money. Okay, so the first category we're going to talk about is setup. And this is very important because if you do buy a security camera, you want to know that the features and the security is top notch, but also you need to know if it's very easy for you to set up by yourself. You don't want to buy a camera where you have to call in a specialist just to get things done and then the specialist knows your password that you created as well now when it comes to the easy v c6w the setup process is pretty straightforward and security level is pretty high you have a password to actually access the playback videos that you are actually saving from the camera and these videos are encrypted so if you do forget this password you cannot access these videos apart from this you still have the typical username and password and this username and password actually creates an account for you that shows all the easy viz products that are connected to this profile so it makes it very easy to manipulate multiple devices once you're on the same platform okay so that covers the easy side of the setup now it's on to how easy it is to operate the c6w and the application that easy viz has given you for your phone to operate it now i'm focusing on the smartphone application first and i'll glance over the application for the desktop as well now when it comes to operating these security cameras i have to tell you the truth i'm not a security whiz i'm just the average joe and i'm going to give you the point of view from the average joe what is it joe, joe, joe no, not the average joe no, brother if a joe grade you have to worry wickedly my you can't guess what come out of my video just dash it okay so the first thing i have to commend easy viz for is when you open the application the first thing you're greeted with is a big picture of a live feed so you will see the last screenshot of what it was seen and as soon as you click on it it starts the live feed so if you don't even know how to navigate the application the minute you open the app you will see what you need to see you will click on it and you will see the live feed started now once you're in the live feed i have to say everything else just falls in place you have access to screenshots you have access to ptz you have access to privacy mode so you can turn off the camera if you don't want it to see certain things and if you are paranoid you know meaning that <clears throat> you think it's still watching you 
when it's in privacy mode the camera rolls all the way up so it cannot see anything in front of it so you don't really have to be too paranoid you know okay so apart from the privacy mode you also have record where you can actually immediately start recording something if you see it fit you also have the option to press talk so you can talk to the next person at the other end of the camera now you also have an option for definition which is cool you can set either full hd hd or ultra hd so the resolution of the image you're seeing can be adjusted on the fly. You also have a button or an option to do a 360 photo of what the camera is seeing. I honestly don't know what the reason for this is, but you do have the option. Okay, so you also have the option to switch between cloud storage and local storage. Now the cloud-based storage is subscription-based and it is not free. But to be honest, it's reasonably priced and it's very affordable if you want to go that option. But if you are really broke, you know, and you have a lot of SD cards lying around the place, that can be used as the local storage option. The bigger the SD card is the better. But there is one small problem though. Once you put that SD card in the slot available for it, it suck it in and it never come out because it's not spring loaded. And trust me, I put a SD card in there that I didn't want to stay in there and it was hell to get it out. Hell! Okay, so to be honest, I was perfectly fine using an application like this. It was good and it had full function over the camera until three years later i actually pressed the top hand corner where there's like a profile icon and i had my whole world turned upside down i mean no missy features galore like to turn on and off the ir sensors when it's in night mode you can turn off the notification light you can actually turn on mic turn off mic you can label the views you can add more cameras to the feed i mean oh yeah it started to spin my head i wanted to go back to simple and if you are the type of person that want to fidget with everything and change password for this and that go ahead the options are there okay on the other hand though when it comes to windows and the application that you're going to use to actually control the C6W or any EasyViz smart camera or product you bought. Yeah, there's a vast difference between the layout, the wording, and how it works compared to the application version for the smartphone. So things are labeled differently. They're placed in different areas. And I don't know. For me, it's like you're learning over the whole entire thing. I, I don't think this should be the case. I really do think that the application on your phone should resemble the application on your Windows desktop if you are going to switch between the two because sometimes you don't have your phone but you're in front of a computer and you want to just do a quick checkup on whoever or whatever camera feed you have. Okay, so we're at the part where we talk about performance. And when it comes to performance, I do believe that when it comes to security cameras, the emphasis should be on the video quality, the stream quality, I should say, and also how it performs in night or dark settings, how the night vision looks, how clear it looks, and also latency, the time that it takes for you to see something on your display or smartphone compared to what is actually happening in real time in front of the camera. These are some very important points when it comes to performance of a security camera. Now, when it comes to the EasyViz C6W, the video feed, the clarity of the video is really good, as you can see right now. And it's so good that it has the ability to actually zoom in and see closer certain objects or persons in the background.
Also, let me add that what you're seeing right now is full HD. There is an option that you can turn the video feed up from full HD to Ultra HD, which will offer even more clarity. Huh. As embarrassing as it is, the feed that you're seeing right in front of you is actually taken from the camera and the room was pitch black. You could not see anything. And the EasyViz C6W had a fully clear, crisp video feed of what was going on. Now, there's something I should add. Um, when you're in a pitch black room and this thing is in the pitch black room with you, it looks a bit scary because the camera actually looks like two red eyes with a light mouth just falling you around the room. Yeah, waking up to this is, is heart wrenching. Okay, so as you can see, the video quality for the EasyViz C6W is good whether it's day, night, or pitch black. Now, when it comes to latency, though, um, this is kind of dependent on your internet speed, and my internet speed is really average. It's the normal household internet speed you'll find around town. And with this, I had a one-second delay most of the time. There are some weird instances where it would give me a latency of 10 15 seconds but it only happened for a brief moment and then it went back to the one second delay which is very good for a security camera to be viewed over the internet so yes the latency on this is damn good Oh yeah, and if you want to know, yes, I actually tried it on Wi-Fi and I also tried to access the security camera through data services, mostly Flow though, because I was using Flow at the time and yeah, it was great, no problems. Yeah, my final thoughts on the C6W from EasyViz. Now, there's a lot of features to be had in the C6W. Obviously, this is not a security camera that you put outside, but once you want to monitor things inside, this is definitely a camera that you should be looking up on Amazon. It is less than $100, and the features you get is really good. Now, there are some cons that I really need to talk about, and that's one. You can turn on the mic right so you can hear the surrounding areas where the camera is now if it actually picks up the person and moving with the person the person if the person is talking you can hear the camera moving the motors louder than the person that is talking i try putting the camera on a hard surface it makes the same amount of noise if you put it on a hard or a soft surface or a cushion so definitely it's not the vibration of the camera but it's the actual motor moving the camera left and right now the next thing is that the tracking it only goes left to right and as you can see in my videos it doesn't pan up or down so sometimes the person will move to the camera and their face or head will get cut off it has the option to tilt up but it's done manually from the app or the web application that you download for your desktop. Apart from that, it doesn't automatically pans up. No, it's just left and right and it will zoom in on the subject. So there you have it folks, the C6W, full review. And it's definitely a good purchase if you want to be have a peace of mind, I should say. So we have one in your house and see the things that are being done when you're not there or here. You know, come to think of it, kind of creepy, but you do you if you want to listen in on people. I fully endorse creepiness.
Thank you guys for the support. And until next time, peace. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when there's sharks in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.